The 2K25 Ranked Mode is where the sweats of the sweats gather to compete to climb tiers and leaderboards. And as a 6'6 guard like myself, entering this 1v1 door is something most people would not recommend. And you may ask, why is that? Well, let's take a look at the leaderboards for the top 1v1 players in this mode. Number one, post score. Number two, post score. Number three, post score. Number four, post score. Number five, post score. Number six, post score. You get the point. Yeah, this is a nightmare for guards. But today, we're going to make our nightmare a reality. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another video. And look at this. There's people at the fives door, the threes door, the twos door, but there's no one at the ones door. And that is for a big reason. No one's trying to play these post scores in here. Okay, but today I'm going to show you all some gameplay of me going against these toxic post scores. So let's go ahead and get into game number one. Entering our first game, well, not our first game in the proving rounds, but one of our first gameplays of the video gets a post score. Now I'm going to be putting in some live commentary in here as well against these post scores. And this is the post score we matched up against, right? So this is ranked mode if y'all didn't know. So it's matching me up against goat tier, other goat tiers, because I'm a goat tier, which is the red panel. If you guys didn't know this year, he is seven foot one. And he has a 95 post control, 95 straight. It's a post score, okay? Seven foot one post score. And there's a lot of advantages that these post scores have on this one court this year, specifically in the proving grounds that we got to go over, okay? Now, the first thing is the inbound you're going to notice is super far out. But hold on, hold on. I'm low key cooking a little bit, getting a little green, but it's super far out, right? Giving an advantage to post scores because now guards have to waste more energy getting trying to get to the three point line, whether that's stamina, adrenaline, especially if we get bumped. Not only that, it's harder to three hunt on post scores because you have to move straight to get to a scorable spot. And then with how the dribbling is this year, you have to do a couple different moves to get a good run out to go left, right? And if you're not open off that first move, you most likely have no stam or low adrenaline and then you're screwed, right? So you see, I missed wide open right there and the post score misses, gets his all rebound and puts it right back up for the dunk. Now you're gonna see every post score we play this video plays the exact same way. They all play the exact same way. They're gonna back you down. They're gonna post spin you and look at that post spin. I mean, what was that? I purposely got off of him. If we look at the replay, but the game pulls me back in and throws me to the floor like dude there are so many different ways that the post scores just get away with anything right here he's just going up with anything now he has layup timing on a lot of these post scores have layup timing off i'm not even sure why that setting is allowed in a ranked mode considering it's supposed to be the highest level of competition why are you letting people get away with settings where they don't have to time their layups right but yeah so the one disadvantage the inbound you see how this post score is playing. Another disadvantage is the shooting, right? We're usually good guards that beat post scores. As you can see, I'm already missing wide open. Usually the good guards, he runs out of bounds like an idiot. Uh, you know, get a bunch of threes off. But you really can't get a lot of threes off in this 2K. Because if you guys didn't know, there is no pure green window in 2K confirmed by 2K Labs. By the way, use code double H uh, to get for a discount at 2K Labs. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, uh, you see we get to the dunk meter. But yeah, the second disadvantage that you have is oh my god i'm shooting from deep out here hold on i'm cooking up i'm really scoring like i'm just taking a lot of skill of what i'm doing to score the ball compared to what this post score is doing but anyways the shooting's not consistent there's no pure green widow meaning that you could time your shot perfect 15 times in a row seven five four times the game is gonna say no we're gonna give you a slightly early or a slightly late just because we don't want you shooting too good on this game. We don't want you to be too successful on this game. 2K does not want the best shooters shooting 70 or 80% like in 2K24. They want them shooting like maximum 60%. And if we pop my 2K card on the screen, I'm shooting 58%. So that's disadvantage number two. By the way, he has the ball back. I mean, look at what he's doing. Just notice his play style while I yap about the, a couple of the disadvantages. Uh, another disadvantage is obviously the stamina com combined with the dribbling in this year it's very easy to lose stamina in this game the dribbling is not very fast and then another disadvantage is the just the defensive mechanics against a post score this year like in past two k's you could spam x on a drop step and you could you know poke the ball if you don't have at least gold glove you're not gonna get that animation even if you do have gold glove you're not gonna get it often but look at that animation right there i clearly blitz him perfectly and the game just gives me a terrible reach animation and allows him to run right through me and that is insane Another thing is the you can still post spin and throw people to the ground with no takeover as a post score. Not only that, drop steps are super overpowered. The paint defense is not very good in this game. 
And I know I'm on a 6-6 complaining about paint defense, but even if it was a 7-3 versus 7-3, it's not good. So obviously it's going to be even worse when I'm a 6-6 guarding these big post scores, okay? So there's just a lot of different advantages with the post scores on specifically this court and with the gameplay in 2K25. And it's just tough, man, because we, I'm going to play him a lot in this 1v1 rank mode. But look at, he's just continuously backing me down, backing me down pump faking he gets a standing dunk animation in the dead zone every single time you guys don't know what the dead zone is it's basically when he just gets right under the basket right there's nothing i can do about it and he's not even dribbling at all because he's going into a back down position immediately because i started blitzing him and you know getting good looks at steals so he's not even risking that he's just immediately posting up backing me down and the pull the chair animation really isn't there this year like you don't get it so yes i was trying to pull the chair yes i was going for blitzes Yes, I was trying to wall up. Look, I get thrown to the floor and I lose this game against this post score. Now, look at my live commentary to losing. Can y'all hear him? Yo, can y'all hear him? That's a post score. He does this shit. Can y'all hear him? Y'all can't even hear him. He is in game chat saying that he does this shit. And that you, that, bro, swear to God, he is in game chat right now saying that he does this shit. What are you talking about? I wish I got that post scores like audio from game chat, but he would actually have like an ego winning that game. Like he genuinely thought he did something. Obviously what he's doing, literally any of you watching could do. Anyone in this game could do it. Shit, a toddler could probably do it. It doesn't take much brain power to do what he's doing, much skill at all was doing what he's doing. But look at, I get matched up with him again. So I get matched up with him again. So yes, you're gonna play a lot of post scores in this 1v1 ranked. And the thing is, you can't do anything really flashy against these post scores. You see, I go into my snatch bag, hit a grain, we're locked in. And what I mean by that is you have to really conserve your energy. You don't want to do any dumb drill moves. So you have to do one or two simple drill moves and get to your spot and try to score. And that's your best chance against these post scores. You see, I miss the meter dunk. I go up with the lay and we get it to go. That's another disadvantage for guards in proving grounds. If you guys have played proving grounds with the dunk meter, the dunk meter is not nearly as good as it is in other modes in proving grounds you get a lot of no green window dunk meters in this mode for whatever reason you see i get left wide open and i miss it did i time it correctly probably but this game has no pure green window and for the people that understand that that means there's a lot of hidden full whites in this game because the game doesn't want you to shoot consistent okay and i'm you can't say i'm saying that just because i'm making an excuse because i'm one of the best shooters in the game at guard statistically so i'm saying that and i'm one of the best shooters of the game anyways we're back on defense i'm trying to play as good defense as possible once again he gets to that den zone and it's impossible to guard that especially as a guard even if you are a 7-3 these other 7-3s are also struggling to guard that as well when they're going against these post scores or the other seven footers seven foot ones you see he tries this post spin then he drops steps and that's what they do every play they back you down they might post spin you if you play high so sometimes i have to play off of him go for a blitz steal because i know he's gonna post spin into me and you're gonna see me do that later in these gameplays and then when he drops steps i mean i try to spam x doesn't do anything a lot of the times a lot of times he puts me out of position but look at that one like dude i'm in perfect position and i just get dunked on it's not like he's using this standing dunk meter either he's just dunking on me and keep in mind i know i'm six six so i know this is technically how it should be but look at he gets a bad animation that's the only time you're going to get a stop on these post scores in the paint is when the game gives him a bad animation which doesn't happen often right so we get to the zach levy crossover get a layup now we're only down at one point okay but hey if you give one of these post scores the ball back in these situations you might not touch it again and look at i miss open again and missing open in this game is super frustrating but it's gonna happen it doesn't matter how good you are at this game the game is gonna have you missing open shots okay so he goes right back into the post do what he normally does and he gets a bad animation again so i'm like yes thank god we have another chance at this eight to seven still i'm trying not to waste too much stamina or adrenaline I'm trying to see how he's playing me he's playing me super high and look at us we get the the nutmeg animation whatever you want to call it through his legs and we score snatch back green we're locked in we got some momentum going 12 to 8 could this be our first win against a post score we get to the basket and we get the standing dunk he doesn't jump he's choosing the wall up gives us an advantage there to get the standing dunk 18 seconds on the shot clock i'm driving to the basket easy dunk come on we are locked in 16 8 snatch back three green are y'all not hype 19 to 8 we could beat this post score he was just talking crazy in game chat 
Snatch back. He's leaving me open. I you know, he's bumping me. He's playing good defense. So we back it up. Okay. I have two adrenaline. I know he's leaving me open. So I go to the quarter, shoot the three, and I miss. No. Let's go ahead and head to the live com of me in this game. How did he did not pass the red line? Very late. He just very late in that shit, bro. Any guard in here that very late's an open layup, I know y'all have missed him. Y'all have very late layups and missed them wide open. But though, the post score, he does this shit. It doesn't matter, bro. He's just going to make it, bro. But us guards, we very late a layup. Doesn't matter how open we are, bro. Point blank layups. We're missing them in this 2K. Hey, hit that subscribe button if you guys have missed an open layup in 2K25. It happens if you miss time, right? Look, at, he makes another white light pressure layup. Dude, I swear guards are never making that. Like, post scores are just getting away with extra stuff. But look at me clamping him. I'm bumping him every way he goes. This is elite defense right here. Elite defense. He has nowhere to go. And we blitz the post spin. That's exactly what I was talking about earlier. We predicted his post spin. We reached at the right time. And we were rewarded with a defensive stop. I have two-way tenacity. I'm trying to get a three because I know he's leaving me open. We shoot the wide up a three at the top of the key. And I miss again. I don't know if anybody in the comments has two-way tenacity. But personally, I don't notice a single difference with it when I shoot. I don't know if it's, if I, if I we it just... I don't know. I don't know if it doesn't work. I don't know. Okay, but we're back on defense. And going back to that replay of me predicting the post, I mean, look at how perfect that is. That is one of the very few ways to stop these post scores because all of them are going to spin. So you kind of just have to predict it. But look at me clamping this dude. He has nowhere to go. This is the best defense I have seen on a post score in all of 2K25. I mean, he spent all 24 seconds doing that and we have to make him shoot a three, a three. Green, green, and it was a red, and it was a red, green. Losing to a guard in 2K25 on a post score where the inbound is from Uzbekistan, bro. Do I know if Uzbekistan is an actual country? No, bro. I don't. I don't. I don't even know where that is. And take a look at the stats. We shot seven threes that game, three for seven from three, and nine for 14 total. It's actually a really good game for me on guard. And going into the next Proving Grounds game. We just played that post score twice. We're one and one against him. And by the way, he wasn't saying anything in game chat when he lost. He wasn't talking about he was the best in the game when he lost. But, you know, apparently he's the greatest of all time when he backs me down and drops us for 22. But guess what? We're playing him again. Yes, three times in a row. We are playing this same seven foot one post score. Now, I have gameplays of other post play against other post scores in this video. So don't worry. Full game. He's backing me down all the way. What do you know? He's not doing anything different, y'all. There's no versatility in these post scores. It's back you down, back you down. But look at, I blitz him. We get a stop. And then, then they just uh, drop step or post spin. He's leaving me wide open. I have two adrenaline and I green it. Let's go. Solid start here. It's four to three. He's just leaving me open. And that's what a lot of these post scores are going to do. They're going to leave you open because they understand how hard it is to shoot consistent in this game. Another advantage for post scores. They don't have to play defense. But look at me. High layup timing profile, greening heavily layup, snatch back into the three. That's green. 11 to four. Your boy is locked in. We might even get takeover this game. And y'all know how hard it is to get level take level five takeover in a game to 21. Snatch back three. We miss. It's okay. We got our own rebound because he actually went to go contest that one. Very rare for post scores to do. You know, he saw me green a couple times in a row. Kind of dumb because it's hard to green a lot of the times in a row. But anyways, another three and I miss. So 11 to four, he's got the ball back. We're looking for a stop. I'm pressuring him. I get the steal and it's our ball. That's how you got to play the, these post scores. You got to go for the steals when they're bringing the ball out. Snatch back into the three, green. I mean, there's not much moves I got to do, bro. He's leaving me wide open. We just have to green our shot. With how hard it is to green in 2K25, that is a difficulty in itself. But that's another green, 17 to four. We're about to get level five takeover. I know he's trying to leave me open. Snatch back. I'm open for three. Kobe escape. I'm thinking about it. Shooting again. That's another green. Take over. The game is over. And this is deep bomber takeover. We have like a plus 10 three-pointer right now. We can shoot from deep. And that's what we're going to do. And that's game. Seven 
one for 10 from three. That is a rarity in 2K25. And once again, this post score is left completely speechless. He ain't talking in game chat no more after being down two to one and gets a guard at 2K25 on the ones court, which is very embarrassing as a post score. But let's go ahead and head into this live comp. Interior force. Nice, bro. Oh my God. Yeah, so that's my reaction when I uh, get matched up against post scores in 2K25, y'all. Okay, it's not a pleasant feeling. So anyways, finally a new post score here. And guess what? Guess what he's going to do, y'all? Oh, who would have guessed? Post spin into the drop step out of the back down. And then this time he has layup timing off, which most post scores do have. Because guess what? That takes the least skill. So they're going to do it just like how post scoring takes the least skill. Just how post spinning and drop stepping. Take yeah, yeah. You get this is a pattern here. Okay. So drops up again, gets the dunk. Uh, yeah, these post scores, surprise, surprise, guys. They don't do much different and they don't have that deep of a bag. But he gets a bad animation. Guess what? Layup timing off is super OP. That's just an open, and guess what? That's drop in. Now you have to play these post scores super high because obviously they're not going to shoot regardless. So sagging off isn't going to do anything. Uh, you got to pressure them. You got to waste them, make them waste adrenaline like I'm doing right now. You got to force them to spin into you like that, but try to predict it into a steal. And look at I get them into a bad layup animation, but we get a bad animation right there. But somehow I still get the rebound, and of course now I'm starting the possession with basically no stamina, which is the most annoying thing after playing good defense. We go into the crossover and he gets a late block and then makes that. I mean, that was so irritating. Looking at the replay, I wait for him to jump by me. And as he's jumping by me, I go up and then he makes that BS. Now you could have said, okay, you got to wait a little longer. But bro, I'm telling you, I've done that before in this game. If you wait any longer, they're going to be on the ground and get and contest you. I promise that's how it goes in this game, bro. Like there's a, there's a point where you have to go up as they're in the air and these post scores have high block and they end up just blocking it regardless. So you kind of just have to go up with the first one. Otherwise, you're kind of screwed. But look at we're forcing misses here. Doesn't matter. These post scores are going to get the offensive rebound. But look at we forced the rare pickup animation. And that is going to give us our first stop. Well, actually, no, not our first stop of the game, but it could give us our first basket of the game because we're down 12 to 0. We get into the dunk. Now we have our first bucket up on the board. Now, once again, when you play post scores, you're going to see me play super simple. I'm either going into the Levine crossover to the basket or going into the snatchback Kobe escape, you know, cross launch to the three point line. Okay. Because the post scores aren't going to be fast enough to guard you. So they got to leave something open, but he gets a contest right there. I know it says open, but in my book this year, an open is contested with how the contest system is. It's a lot harder to green those opens. And it's harder, it's hard to get a lightly on this game on the three-point line. I believe he's backing me down. We get another good defensive animation. Let's go. We are getting stops out here. The fast spin, the hop jumper. Here is he going. Easy dunk. Come on now. 12 to 6. We got a lot more scoring to do before we win. Snatch it to the three. That's green. Come on. When you hit a three, it's a post score. That's big, bro. That's huge. 12 to 9. We're going to the basket. Wait for him to jump. Honestly, that was bad. We should have just gone up immediately. So he gets the block, but hey, it's still our ball. So we chilling, okay? We're tr he's playing super high on me. Post scores usually don't play this high. So I'm like, okay, he's not giving me the three. He's bumping me a lot here. We're trying to get to the basket. He's guarding that though. This post score actually playing very, very good defense on this possession. Two seconds, one second. Levine crossover. Lay. Come on. We down one point. Snatch. Three. Green. You could tell that green window was small right there. I mean, it barely went in. I got like a bad animation too right after shooting it. 14 to 12 though. Eight more points. Snatch. Could have shot that, but he's jumping. I'm kind of just trying to read the defense. I'm taking my time. Low stamina though. We're going to the basket. Dunk meter and I miss. I shouldn't have dunk metered that, bro. That was wide open. But like I said, improving grounds, you, even these wide open dunks, man, they're not going to give you meters if you have low energy like that. 14 to 14. Now I'm reaching. He post-spin me to the floor of the possession prior. I'm trying to blitz him. I'm playing a good def def defense right now. He tries to post-spin me. I'm there. I'm getting good bump animations as he hop steps out of bounds. Come on. We got this post score rattle right now. We're making him think. We're bumping him around. He's tr having trouble scoring on me right now. He's legitimately having trouble scoring on me. Go to the basket. I get blocked again. Dude, this dude has like three blocks. He is playing great rim protecting defense. We're going to the basket again though. And we finally hold the standing dunk off and now we just need five more points a three and a two and we're out of here he's playing me bro this post score had the best defense out of the post score i played he was bumping me he's baiting me into when to drive when to shoot but look at 
We're open for three. We're shooting from deep with low stamp. That's green. Come on. I can tie my shot in 25. 19, 14. Steady dunk. That's another win. And this is what I had to say after beating him. A guard on a post score on this game is the most embarrassing game to lose to a guard with a post score on in 2K history. I swear to God. In this mode too. With where the ball is inbounded. And getting into the next game. I mean, this is like the fifth game in a row at this point. I'm playing a post score. This is why I was I wanted to show you guys all these post score gameplays because I played so many of them. But just look at how I'm talking during this game while I'm playing this post score, bro. I was just rattled, bro. Nah, this is gonna be late. I already know that this post score is like really good at the game. So he's gonna do like a lot of different moves. Like he's gonna attack me in a lot of different ways. Like he's 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 definitely gonna do like a lot of like different kind of moves. He's probably gonna get into that post fade bag. He's definitely gonna be like timing a lot of different shots and stuff. Yeah, now nah, that's just like the first play. The drop step is probably not something he's gonna go to every play. He, that's like a one-time thing. Like he's just trying to get into his bag. Like, yeah, see, watch chat. He's gonna do something different here. He's gonna do something different. Let's see. Oh no, I definitely wanted to jump there. That took that was actually really good. I haven't seen that before. The the 11 pump fakes in a row then go up immediately. That's actually tough. I ain't gonna lie. I need to I need to get that in my bag. Nah, these pump fakes are hitting, bro. I can't with this dude, bro. He's on a different level. I might need to get in the my court. I might need to get in the my court and lab this up. Now there's a lot I can do. Nah, I can definitely pull the chair in this game. That mechanic's definitely back. And when you spam X on the drop steps, like you're you get a lot of good at, like defensive animations on those. So obviously I was being hella sarcastic to start the game, but finally we force a pickup animation and we get the ball. I mean, dude, I'm not wrong though. All these post scores play exactly the same. And it's for a reason, bro. They, they're not used to winning and you can easily win no matter who you are playing exactly how they're playing. So we get a three, we get with the ball again. He goes back down to the post. Now it's 12 to three after that drop step. I gotta get a stop, okay? We're down a lot. It's gonna take a lot of stops and a lot of good baskets to win this game he post spins me wide open lane make a miss but he gets the rebound and he's just gonna go straight up and he misses again we got a good defensive animation right there leading us to another stop like i said a lot of these stops look at the, this look at how this post score is playing defense a lot different than the last right this post score dead ass is going to leave me wide open the entire game y'all literally the entire game and guess what he wins a lot doing this because the shooting is this inconsistent in this 2K regardless of how good you are at time of your shot because the game does not want you to shoot a certain percentage or higher, right? So I'm grinning all my shots right now. Another step back, I finally miss after grinning like, what, three grades in a row? It's hard to shoot grade four in a row on this game. It's it's nearly impossible, bro. You should throw a party if you, if you grade four threes in a row on this game, okay? But anyways... He's backing me down again. We need another stop. It's 12 to 11. We're still down in this game after all those green shots in a row. He misses. I don't know how he missed that. He has layup timing all, or on. If he had it off, I guarantee you that goes in, which is how dumb that setting is. Why is that setting allowed? 2K, you got to take that out of the proving grounds. But anyways, snatch into the three. That's a green. Come on, man. It was, it, it, it almost, you know, missed. You know, it had us fooled in the first half. But look at green. I'm shooting super consistent. He's still leaving me wide open, 17 to 12. He's, he finally jumps. He thought I was going to shoot that, but that gives me a free two. And honestly, at that point, I knew he wasn't going to guard me in the last position. He's not watching a two for game. He's going to leave me open for a three. We shoot the three. Get him out of here. That's a green. And we out of here with the easy W. Now, don't get it confused. These post scores are super hard to beat. I somehow do have a positive record against them on the 1v1 court this year. I don't know how. This is the hardest year to beat post scores on the ones with how the gameplay is and where that inbound is at. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button. As you can see, we are gold ranked on 1v1. If you guys want to see more ranked mode videos, let me know in the comments. The build, the jump shot, the sigs are all on the YouTube channel. It's been your boy, Henry, aka Double H, and I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.